What is going on guys, JT Judgment here and I am back today guys with another player review. Today we're going to be looking at the team of the season, Dries Mertens. I mean look at those stats guys, absolutely insane. 90 pace, 88 dribbling, 88 shooting, 83 passing, 54 defending and 52 heading. Those stats make an absolute beast of a player. As usual guys, we'll go through his in-game stats, I'll highlight a few of the, be the best ones. He's got 95 curve, 99 free kicks, uh, 90 long shots, 94 finishing, 90 dribbling, 94 long shots. I mean, the guy's stats are crazy good. Uh, for his physical attributes, he's a very quick player. 99 agility, 95 acceleration. He does only have 49 strength, though, guys. He's not the strongest of players. That is his big letdown when it comes to his physical attributes. So this is the team I'm playing him in, guys. It's just sort of a Netherlands team, just so I can get some footage with him. And what do I think of him? Well, holy hell, this guy is absolutely insane. I really didn't expect him to be as good as he turned out to be. His pace is fantastic. He actually feels like he has 90 pace. Uh, as we all know, when you come across a fast player in this game, very rarely does he actually live up to his pace. And Mertens is a player that lives up to his pace. He feels like 90 pace, guys. His shooting is absolutely fantastic, guys. When it comes to his shooting, I can honestly say that his shooting is just as good as the non-inform Ronaldo's. And that is saying something because Ronaldo's got the best shot in the game. And if I say that someone's got as just as good a shot as him, then he's got to be good. And Merton's shooting is absolutely fantastic. You will see that I score uh, a very nice free kick in this video. Uh, you will see that I score some very, very nice long shots in this video. Guys, if you have the coins, try him out. You need to try his shooting out. Um, obviously, once you try this guy out, then you'll know how good Ronaldo's shooting is because they are just as good as each other in my opinion dribbling with him is absolutely fantastic i scored a couple of goals in this video where i just dribble around the defenders with ease uh 88 dribbling sounds about right he is very very good at dribbling Nowhere near Messi standard dribbling or anything like that. Don't expect to buy him and, you know, be uh, just as good as dribbler as Messi. Uh, he's not as good as Messi, but he is definitely very, very good dribbler. He's definitely good on the ball. Um, passing with him was pretty decent as well. He whipped in a few crosses for my striker and the right forward now and then. Uh, he also set up some nice through balls for the striker now and then as well. So 80... Is it 83 passing or 84 passing? I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, he does. He made a few good passes for me, guys. Now, some of his bad points is that he is weak. He is very weak on the ball. Again, don't expect him to be muscling people off with ease because he won't. Most of the time when you get someone, you know, uh, next to him that you, they press the B button, he is just going to fall and you're going to lose the ball. Unless you know what you're doing with your dribbling or you get lucky, then he will get muscled off the ball with ease. Um, <clears throat> one of his other bad points is, guys, is positioning. Uh, one of the strange things is, is you know, because I'm doing a player review on someone, I need to pass the ball to him to get goals, to get footage for you guys. Most of the time, I hardly could find where he was. Sometimes I found him holding back in the midfield. Sometimes I even found him over on the right wing for some stupid reason. I don't know. So that was some of his bad points, guys. So let's move on to my final thoughts on the team of the season. Dries Mertens, guys. We'll move over to the strengths first. As usual, he is very fast, guys. 90 pace. He feels 90 pace. Great dribbler, and I've got to agree with that 88 dribbling stat. He is a very good dribbler. He has got unbelievable shooting. Even though he's got 88 shooting, guys, his shooting feels as though it should be in the 90s. It is crazy, crazy good shooting. You saw from the clips, guys. The long shots speak for themselves. <laughs> Fairly good passing. And like I said, he played some good through balls and crosses into my striker and my right forward every now and then. So, you know, fairly good passing at best. And the last strength, guys, is he plays absolutely amazing for his price. For the way he plays, he's cheap in my opinion. He goes for around about the same price on both Xbox and PlayStation. Those prices are from futwiz.com, guys. So if they are slightly inaccurate, I do apologise. Go and blame futwiz because those are where that's where I get my price, my uh, my prices from. 
So we'll move over to the weaknesses, guys. He is very weak. He is poor in the air, and he's got poor position in the times. Like I said, he gets muscled off the ball with ease. He's not very good in the air, and he, he can be caught out of position at times, guys. So is he worth it? I've got to say, yes, he is definitely worth the coins. This guy has amazing stats, and he outplays them on the pitch. Very rarely do you find a player with amazing stats, but he outplays those stats. Uh, uh, examples, Mercedes. Uh, Ronaldo amazing stats and they outplay those stats guys so Mertens is a very very amazing player I definitely recommend him if you're looking to make a Belgian team or a Eredivisie team or any type of hybrid that you need a, le a Belgian left winger I definitely definitely recommend this guy over Hazard any day of the week guys so that was my team of the season Dries Mertens review I really hope you enjoyed this video guys please leave a like if you did enjoy and a subscribe if you did it really really would help me out help to help this channel grow and yeah guys i will see you all in the next video ta-da guys